big fan of my first two guests here. They're father and son duo who have lots of pride and they're very proud of where they're from and what they represent. Daddy P is a five-time Grammy Award winner and he's turned into an entrepreneur, an actor, and a hip-hop mogul. His son, Romeo, is an actor and a rapper himself. He's also heading off to college in the fall. I love these guys. There's lots going on with them, including, um, well, Master P has changed his name to P. Miller. Little Romeo is no longer Lil, he's Romeo. Please put your hands together. We'll find out the rest of the story when they come out. P. Miller and Romeo. Oh my God, your voice sounds, your voices even sound alike. I've been eating them Wheaties, you know. We're in the building. <laughs> yes. I know, right? We've yeah. known each other for so long. A long time. Dusty microphones, studios, you know, you on, na 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 na. Yeah. You know, <laughs> me on the radio, and now I'm daytime TV, and you are P. Miller. You're going off to college. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> this is big. This is big. A little reunion of sorts. Yes, yes. Oh, fellas, first of all, um, the, the name change, which is pretty obvious to me. You're grown now, yeah. but explain to America why you're no longer Master P. Well, you know, Master P is my childhood, and I feel like P. Mill is my manhood. I come from nothing to be able to come to where we are right now and grow up and be responsible for where we're going at for the future. And it's about building a generational wealth. I want people to know that you can come from the ghetto, you can change your life, you can come from hip hop, and we can go to Wall Street. So Yeah. And, and then Romeo, there's no more Lil. How yeah. tall are you now? About five eleven, six foot. So. Yeah, and you just turned nineteen. Yeah, I'm getting. I know I'm getting up there. Do you know what <laughs> they call old. that? They call that the jubilee. Do you guys know that the jubilee birthday is when uh, you you turn nineteen on the nineteenth, or you turn twenty one on the twenty first, or whatever. So yeah. that was your jubilee birthday. My jubilee. Yeah, you're supposed to get what? Okay, look, I didn't know that either. <laughs> one of the members of the staff here told me that, and I said, "What?" Oh, okay. I'm not gonna say that. But then I said. <laughs> Mm. And then she said you get a you get an extra gift. So really? what did um, your dad and mom what did you get for your birthday? Anything yeah. extra? Well, I did have a you know a new condo. Key, oh. so. <laughs> You've been fabulous. In Beverly Hills, I guess that's in Beverly extra. Hills. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Now, now, um, this is, is this where you'll be living when you're in college? Because I know you're leaving for school, yeah, right? No. Yeah, actually, I got a full basketball scholarship to USC. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so I, had to, I had to live on campus like every other freshman. So I'm going to be living in the regular little dorms, you know. Like, like every regular, other freshman, like but every, on weekends, what does he do? Uh -oh. Goes to the condo. Well, now I'm going to be at the basketball court. Okay. Come to the house on weekends. <laughs> yeah, and the house, of course, is tricked out because you're one of the rappers uh, who turned mogul, yeah. who's managed to, first of all, this is Forbes 500 money right here. This is not like, this is, not, okay. <laughs> This is the next generation right here. This is not, this is not, you know, trick up your money, spend it all, and yeah. broke the next day kind of money. So um, let's talk, fellas, about, first of all, I'm sorry, um, yeah. Percy. Yes. Can I call you Percy? Yes, we've been knowing each other a long time. Yeah, yeah. All right, Percy. All right. <laughs> Romeo, I heard that you had to give up a little bit of acting or Nickelodeon or something like that to go to USC. Yeah, is well, you know, going to college, you know, you got to focus on your studies. So I'm going to focus on being a student athlete while I'm there. It's only four years of my life. So I'm majoring in film and business, and I feel when oh. I come back, I'll be a better man. Oh! <laughs> Do you have a girlfriend that you're leaving back in Memphis? <laughs> Sadly, I don't have a girlfriend. I'm looking for my Cinderella. I think I see her, though. Okay. <laughs> I think I see her. <laughs> what are we going to do with him? <laughs> look, look, so, so um, when's first day of campus life? I'm supposed to be there right now. Yeah. I came here for you. See Can I just I say, I think that this is true. I was just trying to check to see if you guys were fibbing. Did you really put a couple of things on hold to come by the show? Yeah, yeah. We, we thought that this was a wonderful thing, and we're proud of you of what you're doing. Thank you. Where people come from one situation and take it to another level. Thank and that's, you very that's much. what it's about with us. Thank you. So very we much. have to support you. Thank you very much. All right.
And Romeo will be in school tomorrow. Yeah, I can tell you a little story. The first time that I ever met the fellas was in Philly, and it was after I had my son, Little Kev. And so, you guys didn't know I was going to tell this, and neither did my staff, but look, you're going to laugh. You're going to laugh, right? I'm a mess. Okay, so Little Kev just turned eight mm -hmm. on the 18th of this month. Yeah. When I met you guys, I had just had a tummy tuck. Yeah. I had the tummy, like he was born in August, I had my tummy tuck like in February. I wanted to like get done quick. It was still swollen and still red and whatnot, but I was still like, you know, leggings. I had a t-shirt tied up around my boobs and I was at the radio station. These two come in, you've got a big mouth. And you said something to me about the way my, the, the way, no, you said, it looks like she's wearing a wig. And I, I caught you staring at my stuff and I was like, oh, I'm a mess, even to a young kid. Yes, you did. I didn't say so. Whatever. I'm I still saying, wigging I said it. I wanted to marry her one day in my head. I always like, <laughs> it looks like she's wearing a wig. Marry her one day in my head. Okay. Anyway, so cute. All right. Remember, I gave you my favorite hat that day. Yes, you did. And yeah, my I son still, still has that. it in his room. Yeah. You know? Um, all right, let's talk about your, yeah. your um, the, the BET, we know, is one network that mm -hmm. caters to the, um, the black community. Mm -hmm. But tell us about what you're doing, because I talked about it the other day in Hot Topics. Go. All right, I just started a new network. It's called Better Black TV. Mm -hmm. And you can go online and check it out. It's about responsible hip-hop. It's about our culture. It's about people growing up. It's about right now, if you look at we might have the next African-American president. It's time. It's time for change. It's time for hope. I got a great team. I got a great group of people. This is not just about me to put a network together. It takes serious business. It takes serious money. It takes serious people. Our community has came together. I have athletes. Uh, I have entertainers. And we did, we did this. This is one of the most amazing things that I ever did, and I'm proud of it. I want to thank my, my people out there that supported me because these guys and, are great. And you have a line of clothing in Walmart, which yes. I love because yes. I love stuff that's priced right. It's affordable. It's uh -huh. affordable. It's fashion. It's high fashion. And I'll make sure everybody in the audience yeah, get a piece. Gets, gets a piece of the T-shirts. We have T-shirts for everybody today. Key Miller Designs, and also the women's line will be coming out real soon. It's called Miller Peaches. Yes. Now, um, everything good at the home front? You guys still married? You, you know, how is, how's your brother, your big and little? I just want to say I love How's you, everybody doing? Everybody, everybody, Everybody's doing good. Everybody's doing great. Okay, and you guys look absolutely terrific. Thank you, thank you. Um, Let me ask you, Romeo, one more thing before you go off yeah. to college and, and whatnot. Um, everything cool with you and Bow Wow? I'm a lover, not a fighter. Come on now. <laughs> God. Y'all good. I want to thank you, fellas, for coming by. Oh, yeah, no, we want to thank you for having us. And uh, this is such a great year. I think you're doing what you're hip -hop doing. Hip-hop makes daytime. Oh, yeah, hip-hop. Details makes at 11. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's going to be big. And I just want to thank all you guys for supporting us and everybody. Yeah. That's I got a new movie coming out called The Mailman. Mailman. When's that? The Mailman is coming out. The end of November. It's going to be a big movie. Funny with Tony Koch, the guy that played on Bad Santa. Family really movie. Got, family movie. We love movie. that. The Mailman in November. Please check out the P. Miller Designs available only at Walmart. And stay tuned for BBTV <laughs> coming next year. It's going to be big. Now, we've got my financial expert friend, Susie Orman, coming up next on Wendy. Yes. Yeah.